the big story we're tracking right now. Um, Donald Trump, the current United States president, has gone out and made some pretty heavy accusations against his predecessor, President Barack Obama, saying that uh, Obama had gone ahead and tapped Donald Trump's phones uh, during or prior to the election process. Uh, he's, of course, uh, used his uh, usual method of reaching out and uh, talking about that news uh, through social media. Uh, Donald Trump taking to Twitter to say or question, really speaking, whether it was legal for a sitting president to be wiretapping a race for president prior to an election. That is part of uh, Mr. Trump's quote. He goes on to ask, how low has President Obama gone to tap my phones during the very sacred election process? This is Nixon slash Watergate, bad guy. I bet a good lawyer could make a great case out of the fact that President Obama was tapping my phones in October just prior to election, unquote. President Trump uh, is known for using social media to voice his concerns about uh, many issues. This is, of course, the latest that we are getting in. My colleague Jeff Halperin joins us live from the newsroom for more on that story. Uh, some pretty big accusations there from uh, Donald Trump, Jeff, mm -hmm. uh, but not surprising, is it? No, not at all. This is completely standard. Every time he's accused of something, he goes to Twitter and he distracts. I mean, right now, the main story is the connections between him and Russia. It's whether he had something to do with it, how, what all his people had to do with it, and uh, those are the questions that are important. So then, of course, he goes and blames Obama for McCarthyism. He called it a witch hunt. Um, every time something happens to him, he uses Twitter as a distraction. So. Right. In fact, Jeff, you did mention uh, the big story right now, of course, is uh, Jeff Sessions and uh, his purported links with the Russian ambassador. Mm -hmm. We saw Donald Trump also bring up Nancy Pelosi very shortly, picking up a photograph and saying there's uh, evidence of Pelosi and the Russian ambassador sitting in the same room. Now yeah. he's gone and made this statement about uh, Barack Obama. So obviously distractionary tactics. But what, where does all of this come from? Is there any reference to a source, any kind of report or information that Donald Trump has used uh, to go out and make the allegation against uh, former President Obama? I mean, I haven't read Infowars anytime he says something. Well, I mean, you can't count on him to have evidence. I haven't looked at this one. This one's pretty fresh. Um, so I, I'm not sure. I mean, the FBI, he is under investigation. I don't know that they've bugged Trump Towers. I guess it's conceivable, but I don't think he's put the evidence forward, and the onus should be on him to do that. Jeff Halperin, thanks for joining in with those details. That's a story that we will continue to track here on We On. Uh